In this tutorial video, we're going to have a look at integrating by parts. So the question here asks us to evaluate between a half pi and zero, the integral of x cos x with respect to x, given the answer in an exact form. Now, integration by parts is used when we've got a product of two unrelated functions. So integration by parts is the reverse of the differentiation product rule. So usually it'll be a product of two functions that we have. Now, that's not to say that it'll always be the case that the integral of a product is using integration by parts. Sometimes it could be substitution, but a good place to start is integration by parts. And the more questions you do, the better feel you'll get as to whether an integration by parts question is being put in front of you. So the integration by parts rule is the integral of u dv by dx dx equals uv minus the integral of v du by dx dx so what that says when you've got a product of two functions in this case the product of u and dv by dx then there's an alternative way you can do that integral a more simple way using the right hand side so looking at the question above our first item in the product is x and our second item is cos x so that says that in this case our u in green is equal to x that means du by dx equals 1 and the second term in our product the dv by dx that's cos x now it's very important at this point that you don't write v equals it's dv by dx is the second item in the product also there might not appear in order it could have very well been the case that here our u was cos x and our dv by dx was x. It's not, but that can happen. So integrating that, we get v equals the integral of cos x, which is sin x. Therefore, i, which stands for integral, equals uv, so it equals x times sin x, uv minus the integral of v times du by dx, so uh, the integral of sine x times 1, which is just sine x dx, which is equal to x sine x minus, and the integral of sine x is minus cos x, so double minus makes a plus, and now we put limits around it, so between pi over 2 and zero and strictly speaking we should have put limits there as well between pi over two and zero equals so subbing in pi over two pi over two sine of pi over two plus cos of pi over two take zero sine zero plus cos of 0, which is equal to, so pi over 2 times sine of pi over 2, well sine of pi over 2 we put in the calculator is 1, so that becomes pi over 2 times 1, plus and cos of pi over 2 is 0, take, well 0 times sine 0 is 0, plus 1, therefore the answer is pi over 2 take one. For more videos like this, go to alevelmathsrevision.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel.